Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and I wanted to show you how to transfer everything from your old Mac to a new Mac and seamlessly move everything over. This will move everything from settings to the wallpaper you have to anything that you have in messages, photos, bookmarks, your apps, logins, and everything else. You may need to log into specific applications, but I wanted to show you this step by step. And the great news is you can do this even after you've set up the device, but I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and turn this one on. We'll turn this one on for the first time. This is an M4 Max MacBook Pro. This is an M2 MacBook Air. So we'll give it a second to boot up and you'll be able to do the same process even with an older device. So maybe you even have an Intel based Mac, you can do the same transfer process. So let's go ahead and get this one booted up and then we'll go through the setup. So when it starts up, it's going to say hello and then it's going to ask for your language. Go ahead and click next. Then it will ask for your country or region, select your region. Then it will ask if you need accessibility settings. You can either select those or click not now. Then you need to sign into your Wi-Fi network. Now you don't necessarily have to log in with Wi-Fi, but it does help with some of the setup process. Then Apple lets us know about data and privacy. So we'll click continue. And at this point we've got to the migration assistant. If you're just setting it up for the first time, this is the easiest way to bring everything over. And all you need to do is it says, how do you want to transfer your information from a Mac time machine or backup or startup disc, or from a windows PC, we're going to transfer everything from this Mac to this Mac. So let's go ahead and click continue. And then it's asking us to connect AC power. So I'll go ahead and do that. I am running on battery. You can do it on battery, but it depends on time, but I have a USB C cable right here. We'll just plug it in like that. And then it says transfer information to this Mac. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can do this wirelessly. The fastest way is to do this with a Thunderbolt cable. If you don't have a Thunderbolt cable, you can do it through your Wi-Fi network though. But what we'll do is on this computer here, you want to go in search for migration assistant. Now you can press command and hit space and start typing migration. You'll see it shows up migration assistant, or you'll find it in your utilities. Go to your finder, go to your applications under your applications, go down to utilities. And then you'll see it here, migration assistant. So go into the migration assistant. Once you're in this on the older Mac, go ahead and click continue. Then put in your password. That's just the password to log into the Mac itself. It says closing applications and logging out one moment. So we'll give it just a moment here and we'll wait for it to go into the migration assistant. It's also asking me to use my password here. Again, I'll have to put in my username and password. If we have an encrypted disc, once you have that information in place, you'll see migration assistant. Now, if you want to quit this at any time, you don't want to transfer this way and you want to set this up as new, just go ahead and click quit. It will go back and reboot and go to where you left off. But since we want to transfer everything, it says, how do you want to transfer your information from a Mac time machine backup or startup disc from a windows PC or to another Mac? We want to select to another Mac on our old Mac to transfer all that data to the new Mac. We'll click continue. Give it just a second here. It's asking us to connect to AC power. We'll do that in a minute. We'll click continue. And now you'll see it shows up on this computer over the network. Now you can just click continue at this point, but if you want to speed everything up, it's easier if you maybe use a Thunderbolt cable like I have here. So with Thunderbolt, you can go much faster or you can just use it over Wi-Fi. Either way will work the same. You can even use a time capsule. However, it's going to be much faster using a Thunderbolt cable. So this is actually a Thunderbolt three cable. This one's a Thunderbolt five cable. That's a little bit faster, but since the M2 Mac doesn't support Thunderbolt five, I'll just use one. That's a little bit older that some people might have. So we'll plug it in here on the M2 Mac. We'll bring it around the back here and we'll plug it into the side of this Mac. There we go. Then we'll click on Aaron's MacBook Air. We'll click continue. And then it says your system needs to be updated. I'll update it. I'll skip that for now. We'll say not now. And now it says migrate to another Mac. And then it's got a code here. We need to confirm it on the old Mac. And then it says connecting to your MacBook Air M2. It's checking the M2 15 inch on this one, and then it will begin the transfer process. It's pretty seamless and straightforward and very easy to do. Now on the new one, it's saying transfer your information. What do you want to transfer? All the applications, my account here, other files and folders, and system and network. If you know you want to transfer everything, just click continue, or you can select what works best for you. I'll click continue here.
Then we can set a password here for this Mac. So we'll go ahead and do that. Once you've set the password, you'll have a little green check mark, then click continue. Now you'll see it's connected via Thunderbolt here. If this was not connected, it would go over Wi-Fi, and now it's going to transfer everything over. It's preparing to transfer user documents, then it will transfer it over. So it's 6.34 PM right now. It's going to take a little while to do this, and then we'll continue once it's complete. Additionally, you can see the connection details here where you have the different speeds. So peer to peer on this Mac would be at 48 megabytes per second. 43 megabytes per second on Wi-Fi, and here we have 3,041 megabytes per second using Thunderbolt, so definitely the fastest method. It can be any Thunderbolt cable, but the fastest one you can get, Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3 would be ideal here. The migration completed and it took only about 10 minutes or so. It moved everything from this computer over to the new computer and then it rebooted. It told me initially it was going to take about 40 minutes or so, but it didn't take long at all. Now keep in mind that's thanks to the Thunderbolt cable and there wasn't a whole lot of data to move. If you have something such as maybe six terabytes to move, that's going to take a lot longer to transfer and could take many hours. So just keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and click done on this computer. So we'll move this over. It will jump out of migration assistant. Then you'll log back in. So you'll need to log back in to enable touch ID. We're logging back in there and we're just back to the desktop. Now, after you've reviewed anything that it couldn't move over, now you'll have migration complete. We'll go ahead and click done. Give it just a moment and we're at the login screen. Let me go ahead and sign in. We'll wait for it here to unlock. Give it just a moment here. We'll have to sign into our Apple account. It's asking if you want file vault disk encryption. I typically click continue and just leave everything on by default because I like it to be encrypted for safety or privacy reasons. We'll go ahead and click continue. Then we'll set up touch ID. So because this is in the secure enclave on the chipset, you'll need to set this up new for this computer. And then we'll just continue to set up touch ID here. It only takes a moment. Then we'll click continue. So again, now it's going to ask if we want to set up Apple pay. We'll set this up later. Now it says welcome to Mac. So it's going to take a second to get to the home screen here. We'll go ahead and click continue. Now that everything's identical from our bookmarks in Safari to our mail accounts and everything else, even Twitter or threads or the mail app you're using photos and more. The great thing is now we have two computers that are 100% mirror images of one another. So you could still continue to use your old computer. And if you're syncing something to iCloud, such as a new photo, it will go from here to here. If you have iCloud enabled. However, one thing I will caution is if you, you are using iCloud photos, do not delete the photos individually from the photos app. If you do that and they're synced to iCloud, they'll delete over here as well. What you want to do is fully wipe the Mac just by itself if you want to get rid of it. So if you're giving this away or you want someone else to set it up, verify that everything is the same between both devices. And when you're ready, you can simply erase it. Go into your settings, click on general. Then we'll scroll down to the bottom and go to transfer or reset. Then you can erase all content and settings. Once you do this, you'll put in your username or password here that it's asking for. It will unlock the erase assistant and then you can erase the Mac. Just follow the instructions, click erase a couple times and it will fully wipe the Mac and put it back to how it was when you took it out of the box the first time. And that will not affect this computer at all. If you erase it that way, just don't erase individual files. If they're synced across iCloud, it will sync across both Macs. But if you erase it as a whole, it won't be a problem. Now, one of the great things you can do with Mac is you can move your account information and sync everything the same way we just did, even after you've set it up initially. So instead of having to start over like you do on an iPhone or iPad, you can simply go into the migration assistant on both Macs and do it from here. So we'll do that right now right now, just to show you what it looks like again, applications, then utilities. Then we'll go into the migration assistant and we'll do the same over here. There we go. Then we'll go ahead and click continue on both. We'll go ahead and put our password in on both of them. It says closing applications and logging out one moment. We'll give it just a second. And then it's going to ask you what you want to do. So again, I'll unlock the disc here. And when you're ready to go, it's asking you, what do you want to do? Do you want to transfer from a Mac or to a Mac? So we'll do the same thing we did before to another Mac and on this one from another Mac. So we'll click continue. Then we'll click continue here. 
We won't connect to AC power this time because we won't need it, but you'll see here, we've got a little bit of an error, but we'll give it just a moment. And now it shows up. So Aaron's MacBook air M215. That's the one we want to transfer from. And it's seeing another Mac that's actually nearby. So we'll go ahead and click continue. We'll skip the update just like we did before. You'll see the same information. We'll click continue. And now it says looking for applications and documents to transfer. So you can actually do this same process after the one difference is it's going to ask you if you want to sort of overwrite things or keep everything that's already here and set up another account. So we'll give it just a moment so I can show you that now it's going to ask because I already have an account on this device. Do you want to replace the current account and then keep a copy of the data by moving it to a deleted users folder located within the users folder? If you just want to overwrite everything, uncheck this, or you can keep a copy or you can keep both accounts on here and switch back and forth between them. So then you can continue with the same process. If I want to replace everything and just sort of overwrite everything, you can click continue here and then authorize it. And then it will continue and do the exact same process, moving everything from one Mac to the other. So it's pretty simple and straightforward how you actually move from one to another. Again, the Thunderbolt cable is definitely the fastest way to do it. And I highly recommend picking one up if you haven't already. It's a great way to migrate a computer and brings everything over and then you're ready to go. You've got the same machine. Everything's in the same place, whether that's in the finder, everything you're familiar with will be here. So hopefully this helped you out. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below if it worked for you. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.